Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of The Last Game Hunter. I notice, or you will notice, I notice, that I'm wearing a shirt with Game Over, my tagline. This is going to be much more. This shirt represents a lot of things that I'll get into when the time is right. Right now, it represents the new up-and-coming video podcast with my buddy John down in Texas, USA. So a Canadian boy and American boy from Complete Technology Solutions will come together and collide and create a video podcast show just to entertain you guys. More on that when I feel a little better and know that it is coming at a certain specific time. So, moving on. Hey guys, without further ado, let's take a look at this weird looking camera. Okay, I've already opened it. Because I had to. I just, I had to. Look at this. This thing, now you'll notice my thumbnail had ET on it. Now there's a couple reasons. One, seriously, this looks like ET. I don't care what anybody says. You can say it looks like something else. I'm going with ET. This camera looks like ET. Now, is it as cool as it looks? That's what we're going to find out. The second reason, ET is actually getting a remake. As far as I understand and what I've read, yes, there's a new ET movie in the works. That will be amazing because when I was a little child, I did get to go and see ET in the theater. So guys, what do we have here? We have a Fosco Max T6 camera, full 1080p that pivots. So this little piece here screws on on the bottom. It's also where the motor is. The RGB accent lighting that's in here is just absolutely freaking beautiful. The camera itself is a statement, in my opinion. It says, I love ET. No, it really says, Damn, look at me. This is cool. It comes with a lens cap that you just clip off. This piece right here can go up and down. The wiring's all in here. No harm done, no foul. So you could actually, just what it's meant to do is lay on a desk and angle it to where your best viewing area is. Now, one thing I want to talk about, and the reason why I wanted to do this before I got into showing you what the camera was like, is the USB cable that is included. Now the USB cable is unique because it has two ends on it for USB and then one USB-C. Now, weirdly enough, I did try plugging in another USB-C and it didn't quite fit. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just gonna try and flip this to see if it still plugs in. And it does. So there should not be an issue, but what the key was the two USBs are in case you can't power the camera enough. This is correct. Remember, this is now motorized, has RGB lighting, and it has a ring light. So they've included two in case you do not have enough power coming out of your USB. So via USB 3 port, not powerful enough, or maybe you just have, which it should be, but maybe you just have two USB 2 ports and you have to plug in. Hey guys. Well, let's check out the camera. Let's get to it. Let's find out. Does it work as good as it looks? It is definitely really cool. Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, we're here again. It is me. It is I. And right now I am testing this camera uh, without uh, any additional mic. So it's the microphone that is built in. This is the Fosco Max T6. Um, I turned off the fan in the background. I can put the fan on if we want to know what fan noise background is. Look at that. It's following me. This is another thing I wanted to know whether there's a lot of noise in the movement of this. My chair is creaking. I have to eventually break down and buy a new chair. Um, see how well this thing follows though. Now this is with the room ambient normal light. So I'm just going to add uh, some light here just to uh, see what difference it makes. Okay, so I have to admit like this is really nice It isn't uh, I guess there's a little bit of fisheye, 
But I mean, we have to expect something because it's that type of camera where uh, it's going. It seems to focus on me, right? As you notice in in this whole thing here, the grand scheme of things, is really focused on me, and and that is really good. Like you can see, like the uh, I can't really point it out, but if you go like uh, I'm trying to do the there, you see blur over there. So, but not over here. So it's really focused, and, and the color tones seem very rich. Uh, I'm very happy with how that looks. Sorry if I'm looking up, because I'm trying to look at my screen and, and understand what's going on while, uh, you know, talking to you guys with this camera. So um, I'll record some modes, too, because during the initial filming, of course, just showing it, I never uh, showed you how cool this thing is, like when it's lit up and, and and when the ring lights on and so on okay guys so this i just wanted to show you how beautiful that is look at that and see the the lines going on in here it's just absolutely gorgeous like just just makes oh it's a smiling camera and then we take this piece here off of course and there is your lens. Oops, sorry, it's motored. I apologize there, ET. I didn't mean to hurt you. So when you press this, it'll turn off the lights. So one press turns them on or turns them off. When you press and hold, you turn on the actual uh, ring light. Now, the microphone's right here, okay? So I know it's trying to chase me, but it doesn't understand what it's doing because the software's not started, which is just uh, like a camera app. It's not really software. There's no software needed. It knows my face and detects it and will move with me. See, as I move, it moves. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that, okay? I mean, yeah, sorry about the squeaks in my chair. Anyway, I just wanted you to see that real up and close because that is just absolutely a gorgeous piece not only is it a good camera it's a conversation piece to anybody coming in looking at it what i'm going to do now is actually i'm going to turn off the ring light um bye bye ring light i'm going to turn on the built-in light all right so that didn't do a lot because we are still in proper lighting so i'm going to turn it off just to see now as i'm touching this i'm actually making it move sorry but I'm going to just turn it off. I want to see if it did. Yeah, it actually did. It actually did. Watch my beard. See that? So there is uh, a light effect happening for sure. So now what we're going to do, just to do this right, I'm going to turn off the light in the room. So this is a dark room. Okay, I have the windows covered over there <laughs> by my banner. <laughs> I'll never get this right. So I'm going to cover, uh, well, not cover, it's already covered. I'm going to turn the light off, and we're going to see what it's like without the ring light on in low light. So give me one moment. Now, the other key thing is I'm not using lighting of the monitor because it's only viewing what I'm seeing. So it's more dark here. It's not a white background, which I could change that in a moment. Just give me one sec. Okay, so... We're here in a dark room now. Well, not dark, dark, but dark enough that definitely there's a difference. You can always tell with the light on how clear this camera is. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, that just that's just my ring light. Like I'm not even turning on like my studio light back there or anything like that. Um, so you can see the ring light actually right there in the reflection when I go like that. <laughs> It's so much fun trying to figure this out when you're like backwards. Okay, so that is pretty cool. So at the grand scheme of things right now, uh, in light, this camera wins hands down. It's probably one of the best web cameras I've ever played with. Uh, now we're turning off that light. Now I'm going to turn on the blue light for that. Oh, I want to see if that did anything. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Huh. So... Uh, uh, just the ambient light of the bottom part now. Yeah, it was following me there for a second. Now I'm going to turn on the ring light. Okay, look at that. So, and the nice thing about this, of course, is you can tip this camera. Ooh, Commodore, Commodore. So it has a nice head swivel, which is very nice on this camera. And, of course, the closer you get, the better 
the view is going to be. I mean, let's be <laughs> let's be real. It's going to look gorgeous. I like this camera a lot. It's bringing out all my. I should have shaved. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, low light seems to be very decent. Now, in most cases, you would do something like this. I'm not going to get to see it. But now you're going to see what I'm not seeing until I see it when I do the editing. Uh, so my final notes would be on that. So you're going to see now what I'm not seeing using a normal backlight from your monitor and what it, does it look like. So now I'm back here. You've seen that. I will judge that later. Uh, turning on the ring light once again. Boom. I mean, that's all this on in this room. There's no other lights on. And look at that. It is, it's very sharp. I'm very sold on this. This is really good. And I like how it does that auto blur on the background stuff over there. You usually don't see that unless you're playing with DSLRs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So uh, don't look at my mess over there either. Yeah, yeah, I'm working. I'm working. You'll notice that this area here is cleaner. That's the viewing area when I film. <laughs> That's the work area. See if you can see. If you can see. So anyway, and there's my cheesies. Everybody has to have cheesies. Okay, guys, let me get back to uh, the other part of this video. You're gonna see the other Paul because he's not wearing this shirt. Wow! I may have just played with the best camera I've ever had, and I don't just mean the fact that it could be the best picture. I believe my 4K camera might still take that crown. But you're not beating this 1080p performance with the right lighting. How gorgeous the, the ambience. You can get this in black. I forgot to mention that. Black with the blue hue. I thought the white was really cool because I thought that it would accent the blue much nicer than the black would. So I made sure I ordered a white one. Now, Fosco Max was generous enough to allow me sneak peeks of this camera while it was in production. So I did know it was coming while no one did, and that was pretty cool because I have a very healthy relationship with them and I think they make some really great products. In fact, I have a new Fosco Max 4K pass-through 1080p recording TV capture card coming that we're going to do a review on real soon. And I'm gonna put it up against some of the big boys later on. So we'll have a kind of a, a shootout. And I do have some other big boys here to play with too that I haven't got a chance to work on it. Of course, with all the things going on, you just can't get to everything. But guys, let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this camera? Does it scream ET? I mean, awesome. It screams awesome. I think the camera is like the coolest, not just gimmick, because you look at it and it says gimmick. Uh, no, this is function. The motor sound uh, is very minimal. Yes, you would hear it through the microphone built in, absolutely, as we uh, heard in there, but it's not horrendous. And I mean, how much moving are you gonna be doing? Are you gonna be doing this while you're in chat, trying to get someone to, hey, man, your camera's following you. That's right, it is following me. Do you know why? Because I got a Fosco Max T6, and it can follow me no matter where I go in my room. Let's be real, this is cool. Guys, I think I've got the number one camera standing here right in front of me. For any YouTuber, uh, anybody just doing business, anybody that just needs to uh, be working hands-on and moving around, and the camera's just chasing you and following you, uh, I just think the camera's very good for what it is. I think they knocked out of the ballpark. And right now, I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but it was on for like $59 Canadian, regular price around 90 bucks. You're not getting any camera in this price tag that competes with this or even resembles ET anywhere. You can put the last Game Hunters game over all over that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review of Fosco Max T6. I hope you have one in a home near you soon. I will leave an affiliate link for uh, .com and .ca if they're available on either platform for Amazon. It does help the channel out if you do purchase one through me, and I will thank you very much for doing so. Till next time, guys. Game over.